Hey there, my name is Sean, and in this video, I'll be taking you through how to use Notebook LM. Earlier this year, Google released this new tool designed to make your learning and research more efficient and faster than ever before. Whether you're a student working on some assignments or a professional doing some in-depth analysis, Notebook LM is designed to make this process a whole lot faster and easier than ever before. In this video, I'll be taking you through how to use Notebook LM and how to set up your initial workspace. We'll also be going through how to upload your documents as well. After that, I'll also take you through creating your own AI generated podcasts. And towards the end, we'll also be having a look at some of the new features that have been released by Google for Notebook LM. I left some timestamps down below so you can skip ahead to the relevant section. Let's get into it. So the first thing you want to do is get on the Notebook LM website, which is just notebooklm.google. And we just want to click on try Notebook LM. Now for the sake of this example, we'll only be looking at the basic package that they are offering. The Notebook LM Plus package uh, is very similar, but it just has some additional features which are quite useful for teams. Um, and you also get expanded versions of what you'll see in the basic. Uh, version as well but for today just click on notebook lm in the middle right here and once we've done that the first place we'll land on is the main workspace and we can see these two notebooks that i've created here before as well so one on touch designer which is a software i use and another one on the invention of the light bulb which is an example one that they've put in just so you can get a feel of it as well but we'll just click on create new right here. And the first screen we are greeted with is just this screen, which is encouraging us to add some resources. Now for the sake of this example, I will only be adding resources about Greek mythology. So that's gonna be my theme for today. And we can see the supported file types right here. So we have the PDF, TXT, marks down and audio files that you can add. We also have options from Google Drive, so Google Docs, Google Slides. You can add website links and YouTube links as well. And you also have the option to copy and paste text. And at the bottom, we can see this source limit right here. And this just refers to the number of sources that you can have in a notebook at present. So at the moment, we have a limit of 300. And I believe with the Notebook LM Plus version, that is a larger limit as well. So we'll start off by adding a few sources. So I've got a few PDFs saved about Greek mythology here. So I will add those in. And once we've added those in, we could see the docs I've added in here, they're loading up and Notebook LM is just analyzing them. And while it's analyzing those, I've also got a few YouTube links that we can add as well. So click on add source, YouTube, and I'll just go to this tab here. And we have one from Guide Life. We have another one from Jake W here as well. So I'm just pasting that link. And then I have one more on a Greek family tree. I will just insert that as well. And now what we can see on the left is all our sources have been loaded up and we know that because of the ticks that have been shown right here. And what you can also do is you can also uncheck any source that you don't want to be taken into account into any of Notebook LM's answers as well. So uh, if you weren't happy with a source or you wanted to focus on a particular source as well, you can also do that, but we'll just select all of them here as well. And then in the middle, we have the main chat interface where you'll be interacting with your various sources here as well. So we have just a summary of what all the sources are. You also have the option to save answers as a note. So if you get any answers that you're extremely happy with and you kind of want to use it for later on, you can save it as a note within this notebook LM as well. So we can start off by asking our first questions. So we have some pre-written questions here, so we'll just use one of those. And then we'll just give that a second to load up. And once that answer has been loaded up, we could see this full detailed answer here. So I just asked it, how did Greek, how did ancient Greek beliefs shape their mythology narratives? 
and we could see this detailed answer right here and what you'll also see are these numbers placed throughout the answer as well and this is just referring to the actual source uh, where it's got the information to be able to uh, type out this answer for you so you can hover over it to read like a kind of window light box um, about the source it got it from or if you want some further detail you can click on the number and then you'll be able to see this detailed um, sources section as well. So it, we've gone into the source and we can see the exact highlighted part as well. And then on top of that, you also have the option to configure how the notebook is going to answer you. So if we click on this icon here, the first thing we can do is tweak the conversational style. So based on your particular goals, you can kind of uh, tweak it to what's best for you. So the default, I tend to find it's like, kind of like any other LL, LLM that you may have used. So if you use Claude or ChatGBT, it's gonna be kind of those standard style responses. The analyst is very good for a business use case. So very concise, uh, very, very sharp as well and to the point. The guide is useful for teams or if you're creating any kind of documentation for maybe a group of you as well. I also found it can be good for revision notes as well if, you, if that's what you are using it for. And then the custom section is really where you can customize how you want these answers to essentially appear within the notebook. So you can give it a role. You could say things like, I want you to answer. I want you to give, uh, give, or we could go with explain to the answers to me like a five year old. Oh. And yeah, so with a prompt like this, I've told it to uh, kind of essentially dumb it down for me. And then you'll see as you kind of interact with it, you can, you can tweak those responses from there. You can also choose your response length as well. So that we have the default option if you want longer for more detailed or shorter for more concise as well. And if we click on save, and I'll just show you how, what that answer looks like. So was Zeus a good father? And we'll let that load again. Okay, and then straight away, you could see the answers are, because I've instructed it to answer it as if I'm a five-year-old, you see the sentence structures are quite simple, short, the words are quite short as well and simple. And that could be a way that you, you could use it to understand really difficult topics as well. And if you are happy with any answers that you wanna save for later, you can simply click on save a note and then that answer will be saved right there on the left for you to read later on as well. Okay, so on the right, we have a few more options as well. So the analytics, which is a new feature. Um, there isn't much in there at the moment, but this will just give you an idea of uh, the chat activity within Notebook LM. I think this will also be useful for Teams as well. You also have the option to share a notebook as well. Uh, and with the notebook, you do have the option to share the full notebook. So it will include those resources or you could just share the chat log as well. And if you share the chat log, it's only going to share the chat and not um, your own notes as well. So you can uh, maybe share those resources as well. On the right here, I'll just move my face to the left. So on the right, we have a few kind of note templates, if you like. Uh, so we have the study guide. So it's simply gonna generate a study guide just based on all of these uh, PDFs right here. 
The briefing doc is useful if you are in a business setting. So say, for example, you are trying to prepare a sales agent about a particular customer. If you put all of your sources in here, it's going to create a nice concise briefing doc that you can kind of go through there. Uh, so if we look at this, yeah, you can just see it's just kind of giving you like a very top level view of the things you need to know about Greek mythology in this example. The FAQ section, again, I would say it's very useful for a business use case. So if you are creating a few docs for standardization, for things to do within your company, for example, or maybe a few FAQs for your part, your customers as well, uh, you can include all of the information right there. And then it just creates a nice CQs that you can use and you can send out as well. So we could see this example of an FAQ here as well. And then lastly, we have a timeline and it's just going to create a timeline for all of this information here as well. So in here, we'd expect to see a timeline of the Greek gods. But now in the audio overview section, I would say this is probably the most interesting part. So the first thing we can do is just generate a basic podcast. So it's going to be between two hosts. We'll click generate. And yeah, it's just going to generate a podcast based on this information. So we'll just give that a second to load up. Okay, so podcast will load up. Let's dive into some Greek mythology. We've got a lot to cover, so let's get right to it. Sounds good to me. Always ready for a good myth. We've got some great sources lined up. Barons, uh, myths and legends, Hyde's favorite Greek myths. Classic. Yeah. And even some insights from useful charts and the life guide videos. Nice mix. So what's the mission today? Just going to rattle off myths or? Definitely not. We want to get into how the Greeks actually thought. So yeah, you get the point. The podcast is generated. It sounds super realistic. Even their inflections in their voice sounds realistic. But yeah, they, that, and that is how you would generate a podcast. You have the option to download it as an mp3 file if you wanted to do that and then you can use it for whatever you wanted i know some people are creating kind of ai generated video podcasts as well but if you're not happy with it you also have the option to delete it and start again and what you can now do is click on this customize button and this customize button will allow you to really customize where the podcast is going in terms of what they talk about and how they talk about it. So for example, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to instruct them to act like they've just came back from a trip from Greece and to shout out a particular viewer as well called Sam. So uh, at, the at the start of the podcast, Pretend you have just came back from a trip to Greece and shout out, shout out a viewer named Sam. All right, so we'll click generate and we'll just wait a couple of seconds again. All right, so it's loaded up. We'll hit play. You know, I just got back from Greece. Oh, wow. And let me tell you, like every crumbling temple, every sun-drenched ruin, yeah. even the olive trees, like everything was just whispering mythology. That sounds amazing. It was incredible. Wow. So, Sam, this deep dive is for you. Thanks for requesting this. It's a good one. And for sending over this awesome stack of sources on Greek mythology. So, yeah, you got the point. It took my prompt into account and then started off the podcast um, and then yeah went on its way as well so you can up give that a thumbs up to give google some feedback or a thumbs down if it wasn't very good as well and then the last feature we'll go through is this interactive mode and this interactive mode is still in beta so it's still going to be rough around the edges while google are polishing it up but what this allows you to do is you can now join in on the podcast. So instead of just listening passively, um, you can give it a play and you can interrupt them. You can argue with them. Um, so let's just get into that. So we'll click on interactive here and then you just need to click play. You know, I just got back from Greece. Oh, wow. And let me tell you, like 
every crumbling temple, every sun-drenched ruin, yeah. even the olive trees. Like, everything was just whispering mythology. That's amazing. It was incredible. Wow. I'll give so it a Sam, few seconds to this for you. Thanks for requesting this. That's a good one. And for sending over this awesome stack of sources on Greek mythology. We've got, let's see. Lay it on me. Some classic academic texts. A family tree that so looks like join. out of a week. Someone wants to join. Hey, go for it. Hey, I have a question about Zeus. I want to know, was Zeus a good father? Okay, that's a great question. It sounds like you're wondering about Zeus's role as a father figure. Yeah, well, why is he seen as this uh, great and powerful dad? Well, he's definitely the king of the gods, the ruler of the sky. Right. But he's also considered the father of both gods and men. It says that right here in the source. Oh, wow. I missed that detail. Yeah, and uh, that makes his role as a father a pretty big deal in Greek mythology. So what makes him so special? Well, the Greeks saw him as this... Oh, yeah. Let's hear it. But do you think his children would agree that he was a good father? That's a really insightful question. It makes you think about the different perspectives. Yeah, like, we're calling him a great father, but what do his kids think? Exactly. I mean, from our sources, it's clear Zeus is powerful, but that doesn't mean he was a great dad. So it's more complicated than just King of the Gods, right? Yes. You've got... So yeah, you get the point. You can let the podcast go on. Obviously, my involvement changes the direction of the podcast as well, so that's also something to take into account. And then you can download the full audio to use as you wish later on from there. So if you wanted to upload that to YouTube and create a video on that, you can do that. If you are interested in a tutorial on how to make it a more visual experience, let me know in the comments. But that is a full full walkthrough of Notebook LM. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments as well. And if you're interested in any other tutorials regarding Notebook LM or AI generated podcasts, let me know. All right. And thanks for watching on that.